It's a green light right now. So we are starting to go onto the main road. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed, gas station is about a mile away. So let's go. All right, so it's the next day and the cooling system actually worked. Uh, there's no leaks. Uh, I got it pretty good. There's no bubbles in the system. So I trust this thing to drive like more than four miles at a time. So that's good. So today we're putting the car on four jack stands and taking all the wheels off because we're going to take this to basically a tire shop to get them rebalanced because the mat uh, weights are missing on a lot of the wheels. Okay, so right now we're at pull and pay because we're trying to get some seats for the car because the ones on it right now are very bad. And I just saw that this place got a bunch of new E46s that we can probably pull some seats out of. So let's try and see if we can get any good steals. And just like that, these seats work, which is amazing. Um, this is a good way of testing if the seats work and it just helped me out to get the seats out easier. So both sides work. Oh, the glass is kind of messing with the rollers. So I'm gonna have to clean the glass out, but that's good news. It makes my job a lot easier, so it's good. So I got the seat out and the plug unplugged. So the guys, so I got the other chair off as well. I accidentally ripped it right here just now. I'm really upset about that because this this these seats were flawless, but a little small rip is fine. I got these. I also got the glove box because my handle for mine is destroyed. I don't feel like messing with it, so I just got the glove box. It should only be like an extra fifteen dollars, so you know I'd rather just spend the money get working glove box so yeah i think we got a good pull from this car and this will make things this will make the car a lot nicer and more full all right so we got the seats lo loaded up in the truck we got the glove box and we got the extra headlight fillers all in here uh everything is ready to go okay so i just got back from the junkyard and right now my car is on jack stands because i actually took all the wheels and got them rebalanced because the car was shaking a lot. So I'm gonna put these back on first and then work on replacing these seats. And yeah, these are done for. Uh, you can visibly, very visibly see the foam and all the stuff. So I'm excited to get some newer looking seats in here. Also, those are more comfortable and these are sportier. And since I'm not trying to track this car at all, I think the more comfy seats are gonna be much better. So I'm excited. Um, Yep, let me start with the tires and let's go from there. I just realized something pretty important. Uh, these are sedan seats, which means the seat belt comes out from the B pillar. And guess what the convertible does not have? It doesn't have a B pillar. The convertible seat belts come out from the actual chair itself. So that's a problem. I think the easy solution is just finding some waist seat belts that go from here to here. I think that's the easiest idea, it's easiest, simplest, and it won't be as safe, but at least lap seat belts are something. Got it. Okay, guys, here's the comparison of the two seats. They're both in the rough condition, but obviously this one is in much better condition. I lined up the bolt holes basically as best I could, and it looks like on each side, it's gonna fit. And the connection point is the same. So this should hypothetically be a plug and play. Um, what I really hate about myself is this seat was in great condition with no tears. But on the way of trying to move it from the junkyard to my car, I, I ripped a rip in the seat, which is super annoying. But at the end of the day, I spent 35 bucks per seat, so I can't be that mad. And realistically, I can probably charge 50 bucks online to sell this seat and that seat. So let's just, I guess, throw this in to the car and see if it works. Okay, so I have the seat in place. Uh, the two bolts up front line up and the clip plugged in. So I'm actually going to put the battery back on and see if these controls work. And if they do, I'm gonna see if the back two bolts line up 
If they don't, I think I'm going to be okay because at least the front two are going to be fastened. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's see if it plugs in and works. So battery's back plugged in. This is a moment of truth if this works. Ready? Let's go, guys. It works. Just like that, we have the new junkyard seats in the $700 BMW. Look how much cleaner this looks. It looks wider and it's not as aggressive, but I feel like this is even more comfortable. And this is not supposed to be a sports car, obviously. It's supposed to be a weekend fun car to drive around. And this, this is cool. I like this. I'm going to go put in the front bolts and back bolts and you have a seat. Okay, now I'm going to put the car back down on the wheels, take it outside and replace the other seat. And that'll be it. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but the person that we bought the car from is offering to let us paint the car for free, which is an amazing, an amazing thing because I was already trying to change the color because obviously this whole silver is fading. It doesn't look too great. It's kind of a boring color. So this guy's offering to let us use his supplies to do body work, sand it down and repaint the entire car. He has all the professional supplies and I'm really excited. That's gonna be the next development for this thing. But today we are gonna to try to basically retract this window. The motor still works. You can hear it. Uh, you can hear it working or trying to work when you press the switch, but it doesn't do anything because it's off track. So today we're gonna to try to take apart this whole side and retract the window and maybe get it to work. Also, we're gonna to try to fix this fuel uh, gauge, the fuel pump. I guess the little indicator switch is stuck and it just always says it's empty but it's not so that's it let's go also i forgot to mention this but we actually just replaced this rear tail light because the other one was not working so if you turn the car hazard lights on hypothetically it should work so do this hazards on and yes so both lights work it's amazing. I spent 30 bucks on the taillight on eBay and another 30 to get the adapter because this came off in 03 and I guess it switched the um, cable port. So I got a $20 adapter from ECS tuning and it plugged and played. Okay, so we just got this part out. Very easy, just two bolts and you use your hands and pry it off. Next, we're gonna have to take this upper pillar off here and take off, I guess it's sound deadening rubber stuff and then we have access to the window okay so we got the top part off seven millimeter bolts and now we're gonna get the speaker out the screws are already unplugged so we're gonna have to take our time and sh shimmy this out we're also gonna have to start unplugging the uh, plugs and taking these these uh, plastic pieces out that are keeping the rubber part in and then we should have access to the window regulator in the motor so we figured out that the window is just connected to the regulator so the whole thing has to come out. So we took this trim off very carefully because if this cracks, you have to get another one and that's not fun. So we used like a computer pry tool plastic to pry off the trim piece to have access to this little bolt inside of there, which you can't see, but it's a T7 and it holds in the regulator. We also undid this bolt here, which also is connected to the regulator. So. After that, we're gonna pull this rubber trim off and this whole thing should come out and we're going to inspect it and see if we can repair it. If not, we might have to buy a new regulator. I hope they're not expensive on this car. If they are, uh, back to the junkyard is what we're gonna do with this thing. All right, guys, so we found the problem with this setup. Uh, we took this off and you can actually, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can show you guys, where is it? All right, so basically, all right, it's hard to see, obviously. But there's a reel somewhere that has all of this like metal uh, line and it is basically untangled. And it's basically, I think all I have to do is re-reel that spool with all the metal wire and it should work. I think that's what it is. Uh, we're still gonna take out the regulator. So we have one more bolt here, which is easy to get to one more in here but we need a female e7 socket to take it out which is like really weird we don't have one of those obviously so we're gonna run to home depot grab it come back finish this job and 
overall, I say this job is not that hard to do. Anyone can do it with the right tools. And yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Okay, so we found out that the window regulator, the spool with all the metal wire was jungled up and we couldn't repair it. We have to get either a whole new regulator or find that spool. But uh, as of right now, this is gonna be left open. Um, this job was actually easier than I thought it would be. Online, I felt that it would be tough, but it actually was pretty easy. Also, for some reason, the fuel gauge started working again, which is always a positive. So after that, that means this car is pretty much mechanically sound. Everything is good. Uh, we just ordered the headlight fillers because it's been missing them for a while. And after that, we're gonna take this thing to a body shop where we're gonna be taught to do body work on this car, which is fun. And yeah, this car's looking pretty good right now. All right, so we're at the junkyard and it closes in 30 minutes, so we have no time to do this. But here's the window regulator that we want. Uh, so I already started taking it apart and basically we have a few more 13 mils here and the E7 here. And then this thing should pop out and we should be done. We have to find a way to get this roof down so we can actually pull this out, but yeah, it should be pretty easy. All right, after some prying, we were able to get the window off. Besides a few scratches here and there, the condition of this is actually really good. And the area where ours broke, like the, the wire spool is in good condition. I can't obviously tell if the motor works, but we have one at home from the old regulator that the motor, we you know, does work. So I think we're pretty much in good hands. Um, this was kind of tricky because the top obviously doesn't fully come down because obviously it doesn't work. So I had to like push this up as best I could to wiggle it out, but it came out pretty easily. All right, guys, it's a few days later since I picked the new window regulator from the junkyard and uh, it rained. Apparently this little window contraption did not work and it rained got in the car, but you know what? It's fine. Also, look what finally showed up. We got the headlight fillers. Finally, this is the last piece that this car needs to have the exterior completed. Obviously, besides the dents and the paint. But yeah, this car has been looking pretty empty without these things. And I'm excited to put them on. Okay, guys, I installed them. Interestingly enough, they're actually harder to install than I thought. But they're in. So let's close the hood and see what it looks like. Well, it looks more complete, but uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good addition. Now we have three different colors. We have white, fading gray or silver, and a dark gray. <laughs> looking like a Frankenstein, but this thing is going off the paint soon, so it's gonna look way different. Okay, now we're moving on from the headlight fillers to finishing this window. Um, I feel like I can get all done today because I've done it on um, this car and the junkyard car. So I feel like installation will be pretty easy. So let's get started by folding this top down. Okay, so the top is down. It actually went a lot faster than usual. So it leads me to believe that the bad window was a culprit as to why it didn't work well. So yeah, that's a good sign. So here's the regulator and here's where it's supposed to be. Actually, before we actually install it, I'm going to plug it in and see if it actually works. So I'm not gonna waste my time. Turn the car on and see if this window works. So hop in here, let's just put it on the first click. I'm gonna press this thing and hopefully it goes down. There it is, it works. Okay, so we have the window installed and it works and it's great. But right now I'm trying to adjust the location of the window because First off, it wasn't close enough to this one, so I had to unscrew the bolts here and here to shift it around. And also up here, the um, crack is too big to where rain will still get into the car. So what you have to do is just loosen this bolt here and here. And you just basically play around with where the window is. And we're talking about centimeters here, but this is important when it comes to insulation and making sure air and water doesn't get into the car so i corrected it so the seam is pretty good and it won't leak in here and i'll see if it 
close the door and the door and we still have too much of a gap if you look around on this side it's a very clean even gap even though this is out this here is even so we have to keep playing with it until this part is seamless and this part is also seamless and then we can do that and then we can go ahead and tighten up bolt down there okay so a few minutes later of going in and out of the car and trying to adjust this window i got to a place where i kind of like it's not perfectly straight but it is insulated and there's no water that's going to leak through here so i like it i also like how i got a free window tent on this window i'm gonna have to rebuild this side of the car which is pretty easy i'm going to take the roof back down so i have some space and yeah that'll be a video so tops down i'm going to put the bolt in this trim and start rebuilding okay so first thing we're gonna have to do is these three bolts here and then this trim piece that goes somewhere here okay so just a few minutes later and we were able to get the speaker installed the uh, little tweeter installed this thing installed and this little piece installed uh, we still have to have the four I mean, the two eight millimeters that hide in here but once that's done this job is basically completed and guys that's the end of the video thanks for watching Hope you like and subscribe. Thank you.